Pep Talk UK, Pro Bees, out in Doncaster. I'm delighted to be joined by a familiar face, one that's done bits in the boxing scene. Well respected. Put some respect on his name immediately. Junior Witter, how are you? I'm good. I'm very good, thanks. Yeah. Last time I saw you, you were doing some body sparring with B Billy Joe in the Ingle Gym. Yeah. Um, still standing and still standing strong. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, moved on. Things changed. Um, now, trainer, manager, um, got business in re customising shoot boots for boxers, gloves, head guards, stuff like that. So, things are things busy. Hmm. And how are you sort of uh, adjusting to life as a trainer and a manager? I mean, how different is it to uh, a boxer? Very different. Um, <laughs> there's a lot more planning involved in boxers. I used to just roll up, just basically do as I told now, but to say what everyone's doing. Um, it's, it's very different. But I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the process. So, um, yeah, in, enjoying life at the minute. Yeah. So you've got a couple of boxers in your stable under your uh, managerial guidance. Um, who, who exactly are they? I've got um, Matt Hunter. Um, he's had his debut on the 7th of March at Magna in Sheffield. Um, he used to box me at the Ingle Gym. Um, boxed amateur for probably eight, five, six years. Uh, turned pro with the Ingles. Didn't box for them. Moved over to me. Uh, I've got him his first day, got him his debut. So, yeah, that's, that's his fight. And I've got Dominic Hunt. He's 5 and 0 and beating welterweight. Uh, he's boxing on the 20th of March in Barnsley on on Steffi's Bill, Yorkshire Pride's Bill, and things are going well. Yeah, I know. Obviously, you you achieve great success as a fighter yourself. Yes. Um, on the other side now of the room, how difficult is it to try and get that that championship winning mentality across to a fighter? It, it varies. Everyone's different. Everyone's an individual. Um, something I learned a long time ago, spending a lot of time with Brendan, uh, Brendan Ingle and Ali Callan, my old, my old amateur coach as well. Uh, people are different. They need different things. They need different motivations. They've got different skill sets. Certain people... There's no one in my gym who boxes exactly the way I do, because no one in the world boxes exactly the way I do. But they're good fighters in their own right. Uh, coming through, I look at what they can do how they can improve, little bits I can take from me, little bits I can take from Johnny, from from whatever fighters are out there, add it to their repertoire and improve their skills so they can achieve what they need to achieve. Now I mentioned uh, earlier the body sparring with Billy Joe Saunders. I mean, since the last time I saw you, he still, has, he still hasn't had the opportunity with Canelo, but um, there's speculation around that he, he could be one of the front runners um, for Canelo. I mean, how would that go in your humble opinion? Um, I look at that and I think Canelo's a big man. Um, Billy Joe isn't as big as him. Um, that's the bigger disadvantage to Billy. But Billy's got skills, he's got speed, he's got accuracy, he's got timing, and he could fiddle his way through to a win. It's it's a tough fight. It's a big ask for Billy because of the weight difference um, and because of how established Canelo is now. Um, but you never know. Uh, boxing's a strange game. Things, people, styles make fights, and I just think Canelo's got a style that suits Billy in some respects, as long as he can stand up to the power. Mm. Well, there's talk of that. Should the main contender for Canelo is uh, Murata, the, the Japanese guy out in Japan, and um, it, it's, it kind of basically um, for Billy Joe. It kind of proves how hard it is to secure the, the big massive fights. I mean, you've got a Japanese fighter who isn't as well ranked as um, Billy Joe Saunders or as um, well heralded. Um, how difficult is it for him to keep going? I mean, to get that big fight? Um, it's, it's difficult, yeah, I mean, but yeah, I mean, last time I seen him, he was in a good place. He was enjoying his training. And that's the main thing. As long as he's enjoying his training, he'll be able to keep going and find that motivation to keep training. As long as it keeps that going, it'll take him as long as it takes. But, yeah, I mean, um, it's all about the politics, unfortunately. Yeah, jo uh, Johnny the Nelson calls it the, the politrix. <laughs> oh, it's full, of, it's full of it. And he's definitely right. And as long as he, he can keep in with his promotion team and keep things pushing. And they've got the money behind He's got the money behind him, so it should give. 
Junior, it's been a pleasure, Junior Witter, to uh, catch up with you and um, we look forward to seeing some of your fighters do some big things in 2020. Yeah, me too. All the best. Thank you. Pep Talk. Subscribe.